In a post Ice Age Alaska, the local tribes believe all creatures are created through the great spirits, who are said to appear in the form of an aurora. A trio of brothers, Kanai, the youngest, Dinahi, the middle, and Sitka, the eldest, return to their tribe in order to receive their totems, necklaces in the shapes of different animals. The particular animals they represent symbolize what they must achieve to call themselves men. Unlike Sitka, who gained the Eagle of Guidance, and Dinahi, who gained the Wolf of Wisdom, Kanai receives the Bear of Love. He objects to his totem, stating that bears are thieves, and believes his point is made a fact when a brown bear steals their basket of salmon. Kanai and his brothers pursue the bear, but a fight ends on top of a glacier during which Sitka gives his life to save his brothers by dislodging the glacier, although the bear survives the fall. After Sitka's funeral, an enraged Kanai blames the bear for Sitka's death. He hunts down and chases the bear up onto a rocky cliff, fighting and eventually slaying it. The spirits, represented by Sitka's spirit in the form of a bald eagle, arrive and transform K. An eye into a bear after the dead bear's body evaporates and joins them. Dinahi arrives and, believing that Kanai was killed by the bear from earlier, vows to avenge Kanai by hunting it down. Kanai falls down some rapids, survives, and is healed by Tanana, the shaman of his tribe. She does not speak the bear language, but advises him to return to the mountain to find Sitka and be turned back to a human. But only when he atones for his actions, she vanishes without an explanation. Kanai quickly discovers that the wildlife can now speak to him, meeting a pair of moose brothers named Rut and Tuke. He gets caught in a trap, but is freed by an outgoing bear cub named Koda. They make a deal. Kanai will escort Koda to an annual salmon run and then the cub will lead Kanai to the mountain. As the tea. Who eventually form a brother-like relationship, Koda reveals that his mother is missing. The two are hunted by Dinahi, who is still determined to avenge Kanai, unaware that the bear he is pursuing is actually Kanai himself. Eventually, Kanai and Koda reach the salmon run, where a large number of bears live as a family, including the leader Tug. Kanai accepts his new surroundings and is comfortable living with the other bears. During a discussion among the bears, Koda tells a story about his mother recently fighting human hunters on a glacier, reminding Kanai of his and his brother's fight with the bear that led to Sitka's death and making him realize that the entire time, the bear he killed was Koda's mother herself. Shocked and horrified at his actions, Kanai runs away in a fit of guilt, but Koda soon follows him. Crestfallen, Kanai confesses the truth to Koda, who runs away, grief-stricken. An apologetic Kanai leaves to reach the mountain. Meanwhile, Rut and Tuke, having had a falling out, reconcile in front of Koda, prompting him to forgive Kanai. On the mountain, Kanai is cornered by Dinahi, but their battle is interrupted by Koda, who steals Dinahi's spear. Kanai sacrifices himself for Koda, out of love prompting Sitka to appear and turn him back into a human, much to Dinahi and Koda's surprise. However, upon realizing that Koda needs him because of his own mistake, K. Nai asks Sitka to transform him back into a bear with Dinahi's support. Sitka complies, and Kanai is transformed back into a bear. Koda is reunited briefly with the spirit of his mother before she and Sitka return to the spirit world. In the end, Kanai lives with the rest of the bears and gains his title as a man, through being a bear.